What's going on everybody? So I hope everybody's enjoying the holiday season, whether that be, you know, time off work, time with the family, or just getting festive out here. But anyways guys, so today we're gonna be making a Sofago type beat from scratch in Ableton, and I'm super excited about this one. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so I actually pre-built this melody ahead of time. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, man, why don't you do it in front of us? What the well guys, it literally takes me so long to come up with these melodies, but don't worry, it's super simple and I'm going to show you exactly what I did and exactly which noises I used. By the way, I used a free VST that I'm going to shout out for you guys, so look forward to that. But anyways, this is what it's sounding like right now. <laughs> Yeah, so from listening to a bunch of his beats, it sounds like he really goes for the beats with the eerie sounds or like the virtual sounding sounds. So that's exactly what we went for in this one. But let's break down these two layers. So the first and the main thing you're hearing here is the ARP. And as you can see, I literally picked one chord and I just strummed some notes between it. So I picked this chord right here. By the way, we are in D minor. And this is 155 BPM. We're doing a little bit of a faster one because those are the kind of beats I really fuck with with him. So yeah, we're just literally using one chord here and just going between a couple notes as we do it. And you'll notice this note right here actually lies out of the scale, but it still sounds good. Awesome, all right, let's move on to the second layer now, which is a pad. Yeah, so literally all we did for this one is we took that same chord here, and then we put the D up, pause, we put the D up in the second little part here as it plays on. So let's listen to it really quick. And what I really liked about this synth pad is that it had that little whoop whoop sound at the beginning. It just gave it some little texture, some little different noise. But as I said, let's actually check out these sounds right here. And I want to show you guys this free plugin that's only available to like January 4th or something like that. Or maybe it's January. No, yeah, January 4th. So you guys need to grab this today. And if you're watching this in the future, if you're watching this and it's past that, my bad, fam, my bad. You should have caught on to it earlier. What are you doing? Okay, so this is a free contact bank called 25, okay? 25. So if you want to Google that right now, um, go ahead and download it. You can get it for free and also if you don't have contact I believe there's a free version so you'll still be able to use this and there's all kinds of sounds in here So let's look so yeah, you get all these different ones and there's a couple It's not like crazy like some of them only have you know two sounds some of them have a little bit more but definitely awesome for a free beat so um yeah, this one's called Transcend and it happens to be under the pad category. And for this one, we are using the bent keys under the pianos and keys section of this. So really dope sounds, um, definitely recommend it. Shout out to Tony Tempo for recommending that one as well. All right, so let's jump into these drums. Now, for this sort of a beat, I'm going from one of the more fast paced ones where it's just like boom, boom, ba, boom, 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 some crazy stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna be going for. Um, so when we do this, we need to make sure that the drums are absolutely smacking, right? Because we're doing a very simple melody. We're going to do some pretty simple drums, so it's got to sound good. So you got to make sure you use the right sounds for this. I'm going to be using my drum kit on this one. And if you guys don't have it and you want to grab it, go ahead and get it. It's in the link below in the description. And you can grab that and you'll be sure that those sounds are ready to go. So let's start picking this out. The first thing I want to do is just lay down a clap and then we're going to start with the kick in 808. All right, cool. So we're going to use this clap right here at the top. I'm trying not to swear too much in this video, but anyways, let's get right into it. We're just going to lay down a simple clap pattern here. So I'm actually going to start with the kick because I want to get the pattern down since it's going to be a little bit faster, a little bit different than I'm used to. We're going to use the KO kick for this one. Awesome, let's go ahead and copy this MIDI over to the 808 so we can go ahead and build our 808 with it. Let's use this 67808 from our pack right here in this one. All right, and we're gonna be using this bottom note here so our 808's gonna mostly be riding on D for this one. All 
right, that sounds pretty cool to me. So let's copy that over now. All right, so I'm gonna use my favorite compressor for this 808 to tame it out a little bit. We're just gonna play with the bass knob just a little bit here. All right, and what I did is I actually shortened it a little bit by using the sustain and decay here. So I turned the sustain all the way down and I'm messing with the DK to get it to be the perfect length. So now it's starting to sound like this. Instead of this. All right, let's play with the kick a little bit. I think I wanna add a couple more notes in here. So let's, uh, I'm thinking right here first. All right, so I'm gonna throw my little UAD limiter compressor. What it's gonna do is kind of shape that kick to be a little bit tighter to fit with that 808 even better. So let's play around with this a little bit. I'm really just gonna be playing with the compression here. I'm gonna go ahead and sole the kick. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lows out of this clap. All right, let's go ahead and throw a nice hi-hat up in here as well. All right, what I'm going to do for this, we're going to start with the two-step, but I'm going to go ahead and make one of them a little bit lower so it gives it a little more of a feel to it as well. All right, so this is Effect Rack by Sound Toys, and I have a preset in here you may have seen me use before called Hi-Hat Tricks. And it's literally just a pan man, which is going to let it pan back and forth a little bit and micro shift which is gonna add a little bit of width to it, make it sound a little bit wider. So let's hear it now. Honestly, we're just gonna repeat that over and over again. So the thing you might be seeing me doing here over and over again is making these very, very simple patterns, but the patterns hit and they sound really good. And that's the most important thing. You gotta make sure the patterns are good, the sounds that you're using are good, and everything like that. And then you can make these simple beats sound really, really good. And make sure we cut out these lows here so we're not reverbing anything crappy. Alright guys, let's throw a looperator on this open head and see if we can change it up just a little bit. So we're going to throw this on here. Um, I'm thinking like maybe one of these like reverses or this double up or something like that. So let's play with this a little bit. Maybe we have it come in every other one would be cool too. And what I like to do is turn the dry wet down. We'll play with this a little bit. Oh yeah, that sounded good. All right, so I changed it up a little bit. For this first one, we're doing like the forward reverse type of deal right here. It sounds pretty cool now. One thing I wanna do too is I also wanna put a little bit of a transient shaper on here as well, just to put this transient in this open hat just a little bit more, just a little tighter. So let's increase the attack here a little bit. We're gonna put this before the loop reader too. All right, so we got a banging little beat here together, nice and simple, but for this to actually work out, we're gonna need to make sure we do a good job with arrangement, because you can have the simplest beat ever, but it's still gotta switch up and it's still gotta feel like it's moving and doing something. So let's go ahead and work on this arrangement real quick. All right, so we got everything out here now. Let's go ahead and start taking some things away. So first I wanna start off this beat with just the pad, and then we'll have everything come in except for the kick. We'll have the kick come in a little bit later as well. Okay, so we're also gonna take out this open hat right here. This is just gonna come in at some random points, but actually let's go ahead and throw the kick in here. Maybe we'll take it out right here at a different point. So let's start listening to this and see how it's sounding now.
come back in right here. All right, so obviously you could go ahead and mix this down and make sure every sound is just perfect and tweaking things here and there, but for the sake of this beat, we're gonna call it there. Also guys, don't forget, sound selection is everything for these kind of beats, especially when you're gonna keep them this simple. So sound selection is a huge category that we didn't really talk about much in this video. So if you wanna see my methods to sound selection, go ahead and check out this video right here because you're gonna understand exactly what you need to do to get your sounds to be perfect in any kind of scenario. But besides that guys, thank you for watching and I'll be catching you again in the next one. Peace out.